and get this back to where we had it. Kind of close to what we had. Didn't have to be perfect for the turntable. And so I'm going to hit the uh, S key and I'm going to type in 400 frames for this one. So 400 frames and then I'm going to go all the way to the end. Okay. And we're going to rotate this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I've already set that up. I'm going to go ahead and freeze transformations. Now it says I got a keyframe on there, which I do. So let me delete that keyframe real quick. There we go. All right. Delete its keyframe here. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and freeze transformations. Let's zero that out. There we go. That's good. All right. So set a keyframe now. The first frame we don't have one any uh, translations in there. So set a keyframe go all the way to the end and just rotate it a little bit and what we're going to rotate rotate this negative 359 all right click enter and hit the s key all right so now when we go back to the beginning you can see that we have an animation okay which is really cool right so what we want to do is we want to do one more thing and then we'll do the play blast here. So what we want to do is go into Windows, Animation Editors, Graph Editor, select the object and select both of these like that. Actually select all of it. And you want to flatten the tangent out. Actually you want to square that out. Let's see here. You want to flatten it. There we go. You want to do a linear, okay? All right, that looks good. And then what we'll do is we'll turn off the background. We'll show nothing and just show polygons. Click off, and we want to do a full frame. Okay, so let's go ahead, and this will be with our textures on. Let's go ahead and take that out of there there we go and let's get rid of this so we get a bigger frame there that looks pretty good right in play blast um, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna we're gonna turn off show ornaments we're going to uh, cl click on AVI Encoding, we're going to select XVID. This is downloadable. You can go to uh, just type in XVID, XVID.com, and download it. Just install it on your Windows machine or your Macintosh, and it will show up in here automatically when you restart your computer. Um, if you don't, you need to restart uh, Maya as well. Okay. So make sure that we have uh, quality at 100, scale at 1, frame padding 4, save to file, um, browse. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my desktop. Rename it your first name and your last name. And call this Annie. Let's see here, Annie 235. And let's do turntable. Okay, we already have the the um, s the renders done. The two renders you need to have. Now we need to turntable. So let's go ahead and click on save, and go ahead and click on play blast, and that should take care of it. The animation looks good. It's a good, nice, slow turntable so we can see everything. Alright, fantastic. That should be put on your desktop. 
And that's basically that. And um, we'll see you next time. I'll have a video on rendering out a sequence and putting them together for your extra credit later this week. Thanks a lot.